Hi everybody and welcome to East Coast Music. What we're going to do today is to talk about uh, vintage horns, in particular the Martin. This particular saxophone has just come in for us to sell. Um, it is a Martin Committee 3. Uh, Martin is one of the big uh, four companies that were very prolific in the US, uh, American companies. Um, the other three being the Con Company, the Boucher Company and the King Company along with Martin, um, pretty much dominated the saxophone market uh, just after the war um, until about 1965 uh, to the early 70s. So um, this particular saxophone, let's talk about this particular saxophone. This is called the Martin, uh, there's a tenor saxophone and it's very difficult to, um, to distinguish between the models just by the name the Martin because Martin put the Martin on pretty much most of their horns. But this particular one, the Committee 3, was probably their best horn they made um, for the pro market at that time. Uh, you can still find them on eBay pretty reasonable priced. Um, they are going up in price, they are becoming collectible, but um, for a professional saxophone, they're pretty inexpensive. This particular one we're selling at £1,200. Um, it's got all new pads on it. Um, it's not mint condition, but it's still a very, very good playing horn. People that played the Martin, people like Louis Jordan, Art Pepper, um, those sort of guys. So, uh, sort of a rock and roll type horn, um, uh, a very powerful saxophone, and some very unique features on it. So, first of all, what you need to look for if you see one in a boot sale or in a pawn shop, um, you need to look really for the main feature is what we call the carpet beater key guard. It's very unique to this saxophone model. Um, and what we're talking about here is the key guard uh, for the BB flat looks like um, a carpet beater where your grandmother used to put a carpet over the washing line and used to beat the carpet to get the dust out um, and it's pretty much shaped like this so always look out for the carpet beater key guard. Um, you also need to look out for an adjustable thumb rest. Uh, this is quite unique to this saxophone. Um, never really caught on, don't really see these now in modern saxophones but uh, the Martin had one here. Uh, you can also see the Art Deco key guards. Uh, this is very unique to this saxophone. Again, uh, you don't see them uh, this particular ornate style on, on saxophones now. They're pretty much just stamped out of brass. You can see uh, a split octave key. This is probably the best octave mechanism uh, I've ever played. Um, it's very, very comfortable. It's in a great position and um, it really splits the octave key in half. Uh, and so you've got the lever on half of the octave key. And um, finally, uh, the neck. Very, very uh, ornate neck. It's very, very heavy. Um, it's got a sort of a pear-shaped um, uh, locking mechanism uh, to lock uh, the neck on. It's got a small stop here to stop the octave key coming up. So um, look out for these saxophones. They're very, very inexpensive with regard to professional horns. Try, if you can, to get one that has matching serial numbers. On the Martin, they have two serial numbers, one stamped on the neck and one stamped on the body. If you can get them to match, uh, they become very, very valuable. Uh, so that's it folks, look out for this one, it's called the Martin, it's a Committee 3, it was built in 1960, they made the run from 1945 to 1970, so uh, this particular one is a 1960, the golden age of the tenor saxophone, so £1,200 and it's yours, thank you.